Hello and welcome back to Colonial Airstream. I'm Patrick Botticelli and today I'm going to take you through the all new 2024 Airstream Pottery Barn 28RB. The model we're going to be looking at today is a queen bed, but it's also available in twin. This trailer is 28 feet, 2 inches, from that's from the bowl to the bumper. It is 8.5 feet wide, giving an interior width of 8 feet, 1 inch. To the top of the air conditioning, it is 9 feet, 7 inches, and your interior headroom is 6 feet, 7 inches. This trailer also has a gross vehicle weight rating of 7,600 pounds and a dry weight of 6,825. That gives you 775 pounds net cargo carrying capacity, and the hitch weight is only 925 pounds. Let me dive into some of the details. We're going to head up front over here. And we're going to quickly go around the outside and we're going to jump inside. This is a more of an express tour that we're going to do today. Up front in the propane bottle cover, there's two 30 pound aluminum propane tanks. You have an electric hitch jack, two and five six inch in bowl. It's got a box frame all painted. This has two 100 amp hour lithium batteries that are heated and there's 300 watts of solar on the roof. This is all standard equipment on the Pottery Barn. You have solar stone guards to protect your front glass as the Pottery Barn written right into it. This opens up so you can open up your window on the inside. You have stainless steel wrap protectors that protect the body from the rocks that are going to kick up from your tow vehicle. And it's gap from the body, allows some deflection. And you take the nuts off, it's hingeable so you can clean behind it. Same thing with these, you can swing these out and clean behind them as well. There's a connection here for a propane barbecue grill, low pressure propane barbecue grill. And then this trailer has electric drum brakes on board, so your vehicle is going to need to have a seven-way wiring harness and an electric brake controller. And then you have your trailer breakaway cable over here. And the electric hitch jack comes with a tool that allows you to manually raise and lower it if, for whatever reason, you had battery failure in the trailer. Moving back, you see the beautiful window awnings, which are standard on this model with some umbrella material. It's got a special design because this is a co-branded trailer with Pottery Barn. You have a lot of windows in this trailer. Front and rear panoramic really opens up the floor plan on the inside. These windows are also tempered glass and they're tinted. The body's all aluminum. It's all buck riveted into aluminum ribs. You got a top sheet here, a bottom sheet, and they overlap. And then you have the rub rail and belt line protection. So this belt line, this is rub rail. And then it wraps all the way underneath the underbelly. It's all aluminum underneath there. And your tanks are heated, so heated tanks and closed underbelly, standard on all Airstream travel trailers. There's stabilizer jacks that are all four corners of the trailer. The Pottery Barn has power stabilizer jacks. So there's some buttons I'm going to show you on the other side of the trailer that you press down, and that will stabilize your trailer and keep the bounce out of your walk. If you want to level it, you can level it front to back using your electric hitch jack, or you can put leveling blocks underneath your tires. This has a tankless water heater on board, outside utility shower with hot and cold water, 30,000 BTU propane furnace that ducks all behind your cabinets into your compartment, inside the living space, and then also down into the tanks. Up top, there are two air conditioners standard. There's a 15,000 BTU up front and a 13,500 BTU in the back. Now it's all ducted through one ductwork system, so you could have one or both on, and it will cool or heat, because they both have heat pumps in them, the whole entire room of the trailer. Over here there is a connection, so there's Ethernet and cable, so you could go to cable at a campground and plug in Ethernet for like a Starlink. There's also an Ethernet port on the inside of the trailer. This is a 50 amp service trailer, so it comes with a 50 amp power cord, 25 foot. Colonial Airstream gives you an adapter, it allows you to adapt your 50 amp to a 30 amp campground connection. We also give you one that adapts that 30 amp to a 15 amp home outlet. The home outlet adapter will allow you to charge the trailer and run your electrical outlets, but not your air conditioning. And the 50 to 30 amp will allow you to run your air conditioning and microwave, but not both air conditioners at the same time. So if you want to run both at the same time, which is a very rare occasion, you're just going to plug in and find a 50 amp campsite. 
There is a black tank and gray tank on board. Those are both 34 gallons each, separate. And then there's a 37 gallon freshwater tank. To fill the freshwater tank, you take this cap off, stick the hose in nice and loose, and that'll fill up your tank. There's also a way to just supply water to all your plumbing on board without filling that fresh water tank. You could use your city water inlet and you're gonna use a garden hose looking hose, but it's one special made for drinking water and it screws in. There's a water pressure regulator built right into the trailer that protects the trailer from high pressure, unexpected pressures, spikes in the middle of the night. And then there's a low point drain between the axles to drain down your fresh water tank. Now, let's talk about the black tank flush, the black and gray. We give you waste hose with the trailer. There's a waste hose storage tube under the trailer you can slide it into. And when you're ready to empty the waste, you take off your cap and you snap on your waste hose. You always empty the black first by pulling this out. Let it gravity drain out. Once it's done, you shut it and then open up your gray waste to, that's your sink and shower and soapy water. It washes out your waste hose. But when you're all done, you're ready to pack it up and put it away, you could empty your black tank and leave the handle open, leave it all connected. Then you're gonna come up here and you're gonna use a regular garden hose, not your drinking water hose, and you're gonna hook it up right here. Turn it on and under pressure, that will flush out the inside of the tank and get rid of all that residual waste. Make sure you follow the procedure and owner's manual. You always have to have that open before you hook up here, otherwise it will build up pressure in the tank and flood you out your trailer. There's also cooktop ventilation over here. And look at all the beautiful rivets around the windows. That is part of the art of having an Airstream. And then when this awning is in, it's all metal wrapped, so it's protected. So you're, if you scuff a tree on the way into the campground, you're not gonna tear open your awning. There's also a light out here that illuminates this area and that waste hose storage tube I mentioned earlier. It's right here. Another stabilizer jack over here. Remember, I did say that you have four total. Now you have marker lights, they're all LED, of course. Tail lights are LED, of course, but look at these beautiful housings that they have. This is all cast aluminum. You got a polished rear bumper, rear bumper caps on the side. You also have rear bumper storage. You can put wet items in, blocks of wood, wheel chocks, anything that's gonna get dirty from laying on the ground. Open up the trunk. This is insulated, weather sealed, lockable, and look how it squeezes shut. Look at this. When you're ready to shut it, look at this, it squeezes it. And then in here, we got the awning tool to operate the awning, stabilizer jack crank if you want it to manually crank them down, that hose for the barbecue I talked about, the manual hitch jack crank, and then a multi-tool here with a half inch drive socket end. So you can use that for a lot of things. And this compartment's also lit. You got your license plate bracket right above, pottery barn medallion. And if you look up top, there's a wireless backup camera. It comes with a monitor inside the trailer, and you can take that out and you plug it into a 12 volt socket in your tow vehicle, turn your parking or headlights on your tow vehicle. That will then power the running lights, which also powers your camera, and you can have a vision of what's going on behind you. So you can actually leave it on the whole time you're driving. It's a driving camera. Come around this side. We have a Zip D power awning. This awning, just as a press of the button, the awning will roll out, it will lift up to the height, and then you can adjust it up and down depending on which way you want your tilt. You always wanna make sure it's highest on the door side so the door does not rub the awning when you come in and out of the trailer. The trailer has a Goodyear Endurance 225 75R15 Load Range E tires, rated up to 80 PSI and 80 miles an hour. This is the compartment which is lockable that powers down your stabilizer jacks. Always check your tire pressure and lug nut torque before you go on any trip. Now this is all the, some of the cool stuff that comes with the Pottery Barn. In the description of this video, we're gonna give you the list of all the stuff you get. You're gonna see some of it displayed. Table and two chairs. These fold up and pack right into the trunk in the back. The party ledge. This is exclusive to the Pottery Barn. You open up the window, you put on these little hooks here, look like little candy canes, and snap on your table. Now, when you're hanging outside, you got this cool party ledge. Really cool. Electrical outlets outside. Now this trailer has a battery system, solar, and an inverter on board. And new for 2024 on this trailer, there's a 2000 watt inverter. That inverter will power several outlets inside the trailer. But in order to run air conditioning or microwave, you still would have to be plugged into shore power. Also, for your outside outlet, you would also need to be plugged into shore power. But it is GFCI protected, so if anything 
drops in water outside, it's gonna pop that breaker and protect you. You've got a latch that keeps the door from flopping around on a windy day. You can undo the door screen. Look at this, Pottery Barn right into it. Swings across, this fills the gap. On the back of the door, there's a little chalkboard here. So you can write little messages. The door is fully insulated and so is the whole trailer. It's insulated all the way around. There's even insulation below the floor. Talking about the floor, this is vinyl flooring throughout. So see the width of this door here? Everything that's inside this trailer was carried through this door. That means everything can come back out through this door. It's built differently than a typical travel trailer where they put a lot of items in and build the square box around it, which if anything ever had to come out, it becomes problematic. With an Airstream, everything came in and out of this door. And the door frame is all extruded aluminum, welded. You got a grab handle over here. You have a gutter up top, even has a porch light that has an aluminum casting housing. And all the rivets, are uh, cast aluminum as well. And then you got this little piece right here that allows you to sweep the floor out nice and easy. You got some grip tape here. And below this final flooring is a composite floor. So unlike particle board, which is used in most commonly in uh, RVs and travel trailers, that could get wet and swell up and get soft. Plywood is another alternative, which is great. My 1961 Airstream travel trailer has the original plywood floor in it. It's tongue and groove. It could get wet for a period of time without rotting or delaminating. If it does get wet for a long period of time, it will eventually rot and delaminate. But the composite floor can get wet for an extended period of time. It will never rot or delaminate. And it also has better screw retention. You don't have the creaks. It has a little bit of insulating factor. So many benefits. Entry step, you've got a double entry step here. If you don't need both down, you can fold one up and check it out. When you're driving, it's fully flush. There's nothing sticking out or sticking down. Bring it down, flip it around, and you're ready to go. Certified green sticker here. Airstream gets the Emerald rating, which is the highest rating you get, and that's a, a great program that they have that audits the Airstream production facility, the travel trailer that they make, the product, its end of life, how much is recyclable, the materials they use at the factory, a lot of different things go into that. And to get the highest ratings, very cool. Up around the front here, a couple more things I want to show you before we head inside. There's an external solar port, so if you wanted to put a port portable solar panel outside, say the park trailer is parked in the shade and your factory solar is not putting on any uh, amperage to the batteries, you could do an external solar panel with its own solar controller. There's also a full-size spare tire that's on an arm that swings down. Uh, you're going to use a jack from your tow vehicle to jack up the trailer. And that multi-tool in the trunk, you can buy a 13 16 half-inch drive deep socket shallow wall and that will take your tires off. Come on in. Right here by the door, we have a fire extinguisher. Let's talk about safety. There's a emergency exit, safety glass, fire extinguisher, smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector, and a propane leak detector on board. And Airstream builds to all RVIA standards, which are very strict. It's just like building a house. You gotta get approvals from the township. Airstream and the industry, they use RVA that looks over builds and construction. So we know that the trailer is made safe for you. Right above the entry door, there's a little bumper here if you can forget the duck on the way out. Saves your head. You got a main power switch to turn on and off the batteries here. You can also turn onboard mode, which wakes up the lights in the trailer. Away mode, if you hit that, it will dim down the lights, shut them off, so you don't leave anything on. It will still leave your fridge on and other items like that. You also have exterior lights, lots of different controls here, and then the awning. So if I press the awning button, the awning will come out all the way and set itself up automatically, but then you could tilt it when you need it. You have an electrical outlet here by the door. That runs off that 2000 watt inverter. So right now we're plugged into shore power, we call it. That, that outlet's live. If I unplug the trailer, that outlet's dead. If I turn on the inverter, that will power up that outlet. So I could use it for point of use, for laptop, computer, small item. Beautiful sofa here. Look at the upholstery in here. It's light and bright in the area. It's like what you would have at home because these back pieces are removable. So you could really adjust it for your own comfort here. You don't have to, you're not confined with a preset back rest. You know, you could adjust it accordingly. You also have some beautiful light fixtures throughout. You got reading lights over here. Got these lights off to the side. 
full blackout curtains so if you want some privacy and every single window in this trailer that opens has its own insect screen so you get a lot of ventilation here just in this room alone there's four windows that open and in the bedroom there's three windows that open so plenty of ventilation also when you're here and you want to sit down and hang out look at this this flips up and flips over you got a little writing table here and directly across from me is the television so I can actually sit back and relax and watch TV right here have my drink write a little note or whatever I want to do and then when you're done it tucks away nice and neat in this compartment below the sofa you got some drawers one here you got another one over here and if you look at the, the sofa really thick cushion here a really good foam density Airstream uses, high quality materials throughout. There's two speakers under the cabinet, there's two speakers in the back, and there's a subwoofer on board. Overhead roof locker storage, check out the cool design built into them. This is all plywood with laminate, no particle board. This is not a sticker. This is not a sticker. You got your Furion, uh, sorry, Fusion stereo. You also have USB, so if you want to plug something into that, it's Bluetooth. You have an HDMI, so if you want to plug a Blu-ray player and play through your televisions, you can. And there's a Cat5 cable here, part of your Ethernet, that if you wanted to do a Starlink, you put some of your devices up here, and then the Starlink on the outside. Inverter outlets up here, and then a cover for your stereo, because it's a marine cover, it's a rubber cover. Wireless backup camera, we talked about earlier, it's in this box. Also on this side, check out, they're all backlit too, so you really see what is going on in each one of your cabinets. There's a little sensor here that knows when the cabinet is open. Uh, you have your owner's bag and then the router that is part of the internet system. So you could buy a SIM card and set up a plan and you could have Wi-Fi in this trailer. You could also download the Airstream Smart app and once you have that set up, you could also control some of the devices in this trailer remotely. So if you're 500 miles away and you could access your trailer, the trailer is turned on, you could turn on your air conditioning, you could do certain things, which is really cool. And then there's a way to turn on and off that internet. So if you didn't want it on, you don't have to have it on. Over here, we got that smoke detector. We have a Vista view window over here. These are all Roman shades on this trailer. So that's how you get your privacy. You got some more lighting controls over here. And that brings us to the kitchen area. Check this out. Plenty of counter space. You got this nice cover here. Check out this sink here, apron style sink, stainless steel. Love the size of that sink. Comes with some cutting board oil. You also get a cutting board. Pottery barn written right into it, burned right into it. You also have solid surface countertop. They get this little lip on the side, so if water runs over, it's not gonna run down into your sofa. Large trash pail in here. Another little cutting board up top. And then behind this, there's additional storage. So you could put like trash bags and cleaning supplies right behind this little slide out. Below the kitchen sink, there's more storage. And then you have a series of drawers, one for your silverware and other miscellaneous items. It comes with a lot of stuff. I'm gonna make sure we list that in the description. GFCI protected electrical outlet over here, tankless water heater controls to set your temperature and uh, yeah, take a shower, turn your faucet. You need like 100 degrees out of here. If you're gonna take a shower, you can crank it up to like 110 or higher. Oh, roller shade here for some privacy in the kitchen. You got some puck lights over here. Cooktop ventilation, make sure you open that louver on the outside. Nice bright light for your cooking. Three burner fury on cooktop. Just spin it over and light and you're ready to go. So this lights each one of them as long as you have one of them on. You got lights here to illuminate the handles. And then you got a cover for additional counter space. Uh, spice rack over here, and there's also a knife rack in here. The knives slide right in. Back here, we have some more roof locker storage, and notice how it goes all the way through. Check that out. So if you wanna put something large in that doesn't fit, you do have that ability. Premium hardware, I love the hardware. And this is fully adjustable. They could go up higher, you can stop lower, they could go faster, more tension. Convection microwave is, is the one option you have on this trailer. Standard, it comes with a gas oven. But for $475, you could upgrade to a convection. 
1.1 cubic foot, I believe. Some more storage here. And then see the cutouts? That's your furnace return. And then there's furnace duct work throughout this trailer. Another thing I want to point out here on the floor is that your LP leak detector. That's hardwired to the battery. That's also combination CO detector. Look at this. Welcome mat comes with the trailer, but you also have this drawer over here. So plenty of room. This is the little storage compartment for some of the hooks for your outside party ledge. And then in the dinette area, the table has a lock mechanism underneath it, but allows you to slide the table back and forth and then out. So you could really adjust this table depending on your comforts. And then this whole thing folds into a bed. So what you're gonna do is tuck your cushions back nice and tight and then just bring over this lever push down and I leave it like so it swivels back and forth and I can really center it and then all you're gonna do is take the backrest from here and these are heavy cushions this is really good foam on this and here and bam now you got a 42 by 74 inch bed I promise to keep my feet elevated but you can see the size of it you can do two adults here no problem at all and the windows open all the way out. This one doesn't open all the way out when you have the entry door open, but just lift on these two handles and snap it in. You have three different heights to choose, and once it's down lowered, you twist these and lock it, and that snaps it tight. Vista view windows up top, some more Roman shades right here. Nice and easy glide. Your TV's on an articulating arm. You can unlock it and swivel it closer. Maybe you're in a kitchen, you wanna turn around and look at it easier. Behind here, you have a USB A and C. You also have an inverter outlet built in. And then when you're ready to tow the trailer away, snaps in place. And like little things like this, this is the sensor for the room here, for the temperature, for the thermostat. So you, sometimes you'll see some of that. And that's all tied into this touch screen. Now I could spend an hour on this alone, but just to give you a gist of it, it allows you to control pretty much everything in this trailer from here. You could turn things on and off. And then you could also go to the main menu, go to favorites. You could also go to modes. So away mode we talked about earlier. And then you could also monitor certain things like freshwater tank, solar, battery, propane tanks on this model. And then you could go into climate and set your thermostat for your air conditioners, the two air conditioners. This has a Merv 8 filter system, so it filters out a lot of particulates out of the air. Very easy to clean your filters on occasion if you need to. Got to make sure you do that, otherwise they will clog with lint very quickly too, by the way. There's a fantastic fan here in the galley, we call it, and that's a motorized lid, variable speed control, and that's controlled off your touchscreen. There's also duct work throughout the whole trailer, and you can spin these around and change the direction that the air is flowing. You can also shut certain ones off and dedicate more air to one area. There's a skylight in the galley with shade right here. And by the way, it's bright in here, right? I turned all the lights the brightest they could get. You could dim them down pretty good. Eight cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. Plug it into the campground, runs off electric when you're on the road and runs on 12 volt, but very deep. The nice thing about these 12 volt refrigerators is that you have the depth. With the propane absorption fridges, they stop about right here. So you open the fridge, it's a huge door, but you can't really put much in. You can put a lot in this refrigerator. You can control it from on top here, turning it on and off, change your temperature. There's a night mode. Storage above and down below. There's a furnace duct and your battery charger, converter charger. Might hear a fan kick on periodically in here. That's all right, that's what it's doing. Breakers in here, 12 volt fuses in here. Moving back, there's a privacy curtain. So say you wanna use your split bath, right? Showers here and you don't want people to see you. Pull this thing all the way across. That'll give you the privacy, nice thick fabric. And the reason why there's no pocket door here, we get a lot of questions about that. You gotta think like wheel wells cut into the body, just like in the bed of a pickup truck. The, the door would have nowhere to pocket to. There's also furnace ducts back there. So Airstream uses these and they're also lightweight. The doors get pretty heavy. And how heavy do you want this trailer to actually be, right? So uh, they, they are very mindful of what they use. 
Over here is the wardrobe. So on the back of the door, there's a full length mirror. And then I have a lot of the Pottery Barn stuff still in the boxes in here, but you could hang items in here. You could stack them. You got a light that illuminates this area. Very great use of space. Another skylight, this one has a privacy film on it, so now I'm gonna look down and see what you're doing in the shower. But it also has a shade. Porthole window on the bathroom door. We'll swing this all the way around so you can see in the bathroom. Toilet dumps into a black tank. So does the sink on this model. And it's not like, why would they do that? Well, it's actually pretty smart. Your sink, you're gonna be spitting toothpaste in here. You want that in the black tank. You don't want it in that your gray tank. It starts to smell pretty bad. So I will go in the black tank. Got a nice faucet over here. Got some storage below the sink. The toilet paper goes here. You got some sliders here. This box, we talked about the wheel well. That is the wheel. That is the wheels, wheels cut in. And more over here. It's got some cool tile on the wall. It's a plastic. You can, you can hang your stuff here, your hat. You can hang a towel here. You got these cool sconce on the wall. Got this little ledge here. You can put soap there maybe. Individual light controls here. And then medicine cabinet. And another towel bar here. They really loaded it up. And see this big gap up top here? There's a fan in here that you push up. And you push this little button. And that will allow vent the stale air out of this compartment, allow fresh air in. Or you could turn on your Fantastic fan and that will allow some more air flow through. And there's also a air conditioning duct in there too. <clears throat> in the shower, All fiberglass construction, the bottom's really thick, the wheel well's right here. Shower wand comes off, your diverter's right here. There's a little clothesline that pulls across and locks in so you can hang your bathing suit when you're done using it. A light, and you get another one of those fans, just like the one in the toilet area. A glass shower door, magnetic strip keeps it shut when you're like parked. But when you're driving, you put your little travel latch on. And there's even an access panel to get to plumbing if you ever needed to do so for maintenance down the road. This is the queen bed model. It's 60 by 75. And the whole bed lifts up. It's on a platform. It gives you access to all the storage. There, there's some of the bins that the trailer comes with. You can see the edge grain of the plywood so you know it's not particle board or melamine. And there's little struts there that keep the bed up. And then, talking about the bed, look at the thickness of the mattress. They use a good mattress. Compare that to most RVs, you'll see this is two or three times the thickness. So it's not something you're just gonna buy the trailer and toss the mattress away and buy a new one. You're gonna keep this mattress. This is the one you're gonna use. Some of the bedding and decor that it comes with. By the way, everything you see in this video, decor-wise, this comes with. We didn't add anything to it. Panoramic window in the back, full blackout curtains, really darkens it. Two speakers under the roof locker, two reading lights under the roof locker, lighting controls under the roof locker, reading lights on each one of the nightstands. Each reading light has some outlets built into it. And then there's a big outlet here with USB and electrical. This will only work when you're plugged into shore power. Then there's a little bumper here at the headrest of the bed. Some more roof locker storage. Up oh, there's the bed pillows that come with it. Four air conditioning ducts in here. Air conditioning intake in this room. Stacked window, 30 inch wide with a porthole window below it. You have an inverter outlet over here. These TVs are 12 volt, so they'll run when you're not plugged into electric. You don't need the inverter on to run them. The release allows the TV to release so you can center it and move it closer to the bed. And when you're traveling, you lock it back. There's also a furnace duct down on the floor, another privacy curtain, another thermostat sensor. And look at all this. You can hang all your hats, your shirts right from here. And you got some more lighting controls. You also have a stacked window on this side with another Roman shade, another reading lamp. And the one thing I did miss, people forget about this, there's a little storage compartment right here. I would pile up all my shoes in there. That's a perfect spot for that. I like how low they are. So if you roll over in bed, you don't bump your elbow on your nightstand. 
Well, I think this pretty much sums it up. I hope you guys enjoyed the quick tour, express tour, of the all new 2024 Airstream Pottery Barn 28RBQ Queen Bed available here at Colonial Airstream, Millstone Township, New Jersey. Please call us at 1-800-265-9019 or visit us on our website at colonialairstream.com. Uh, my name is Patrick Botticelli. I also sell the Airstreams here at our dealership. I'd love to work with you personally. And make sure you check us out on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. We have a lot of really quick tours on there. So if you like the long format tours, but you also want to see some quick tours, make sure you check us out there. And I'll see you guys next time.